Ashley has been working very hard on a special surprise, and I'm very, very proud of her. So come on up. Hi, everybody. As they had said, I'm Ashley Allen. Um, so I wasn't really sure how to begin some of my last words here at Bear today, so I'll just begin by thanking the families here today. Thank you for being present at this award ceremony for your students. Your support is what got each and every one of us to this point. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Families, you help, helped us set our goals high and have pushed us past our limits, and for that, I am thankful. Now, I understand that many families are not here today. Students, I would like you to go home, thank your families for all the work that they have put into you for the past 14 years and thank them for the next four years to come because they will be putting a lot, a lot of work into you guys. I would also like to thank the eighth grade teachers. I would not have had the grades I had this year without their never help, ending help and encouragement. I had had many absences throughout these, this year and each of you has been kind enough to take the time and help me get caught up. You all inspired me to do everything to the best of my ability. You showed me that even if there is a bump in my road, big or small, I can overcome it. This year, I have learned so much from you guys, not just the academics, but things that will help me through high school and farther into my future. Now, just one final and very much needed thank you. I do so believe that many of us here need to thank this inspiring, kind-hearted, beautiful woman. Every time I turn around, it seems that she is there to help, whether it is for a shoulder to lean on or a question about your schedule, she is there. She spent a lot of time helping my friends and I through these past two years. Honestly, I have no clue what I'd do without her. Every day, she manages to bring a smile to our faces and make us laugh until our stomachs hurt. Mrs. Martin, my other mother, I would like to thank you. I don't know how you do it, but you've affected so many lives here at Baird. Thank you so, so much. Now just one, uh, never mind. Uh, I have changed for the better a lot since my first day of fifth grade here. I remember I wore a blue polo and khakis like many others because we were all so scared that if we showed any personality, we would be obviously dress coded. I, like many others, walked into the school without my best friend. We were scared out of our minds, but we all managed to meet some amazing people that ripped us out of our shells. That is just how Baird is. Sixth grade is the year that we all look back on and we just think to ourselves, why? That was the most awkward year for a lot of us, including me. But six was actually truly amazing. It was the year the group got together. It was Daphne, Rayanne, Haley, Madeline, Hunter, Bella, Megan, and I. And it still is. Each of us has crazy different personalities, but it comes together like a colorful, abstract, million dollar painting. The best part was when I realized that we were just a small part of the bigger picture. Everyone in our grade was their own small section of it. All of the different colors, lines, and shapes come together as one to create the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. The year that all the memories truly started being created was seventh. Seventh grade was the year when everyone started to come together as one creating this big, huge, crazy, fun family. Sometimes blood isn't thicker than water. Family isn't about being blood. Family is about people who are there through thick and thin. People who have your back no matter what. That is a quote that my friend Bella Castro gave to me. And I realized the moment that I read it that it describes our school. We are the Baird family and nothing can change that. This year has been crazy. It seems like just yesterday I was telling my older sister Milena about my first day of eighth grade. Now I'm up here on pretty much the last day telling you about my my entire time here at Barrett. This year was a change between seeing people playing tag and be like, oh my goodness, what are they doing? To, I wanna play. This year, I became an individual. I created my own path, set my goals high, and started fighting for what I wanted. Mr. Walsh once gave us the quote, always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of being a second-rate version of someone else. Baird really helped me achieve that. All through the next couple of years, I want that quote to stick to you like it stuck to me. My number one piece of advice is to carve your own path. Don't follow in the footsteps of someone else because most likely that is not where you want to go.
and I know for a fact that each and every one of you has a stamina and the persistence to get where you want to go. <coughs> Next year, as freshmen, we will all pretty much be the itty bitty fifth graders again, lost and confused. Over the next four years, you have to remember who you are, what you represent, where you're from, and where you're headed. High school is going to be huge, thousands of students versus spared 600. It will be very easy to lose yourself, so keep that in mind. Do not permit what you cannot do to interfere with what you can do. I hope this quote by John Wooden sticks with you as well. You must be the best you can be. Anything you want to do, do it. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back. I believe that if you really set your mind to it, there's nothing you can't do. All my life, I have worked hard to have the grades that I have. I don't let anything get in the way of what I want, and most of you know that. But you shouldn't let anything get in your way either, not even yourself. High school is going to be a brand new chapter in our books. Even though all of Baird has worked hard to prepare us for it, we are going to be walking into this brand new journey blindly. There's nothing we really can do about it. It will be the same with every new experience for the rest of our lives. I wish you all the best of luck. One last thing. People will forget what you said, they will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. That is something that Maya Angelou, an American poet and author, once said. I believe that everyone here will remember each other because we have all impacted each other in such a way that it's hard to forget. We've made so many memories that will last us a lifetime. You can take the student out of Baird, but you can never take the Baird out of the student. Thank you all for the amazing memories, and I'm going to miss you all like crazy. Okay, I'm going to say from me to you, I expect an invitation from you four years from now. What high school are you going to? when you give the valedictory address for Design Science High School. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna happen. Thank you, Ashley. Beautiful job. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm